Let me go. Give it a rest. Enough. <laughs> Stop hitting the girl. <laughs> there, are you happy now? You're low, brother. Huh? You like her? You can have her. Yeah, she's pretty clean and pretty dirty also. Huh? She's yours for 200 American dollars. Mario, you are evil. No, Eva, I'm just a cow herd who can no longer afford the cattle. <laughs> yeah. You want a cow? Cowboy? Huh? Holy Mother, save me from this man. Come on. Two hundred dollars, man. I'm running out of patience. Take the damn money, you bastard. She's all yours, okay? Enjoy her. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Will you miss me, mi amor? What are you going to do now? I will go to Las Hermanas. The sisters there will help me.
favor, puta, ah, qué chingado. Ah, ¡Viva México! Ay, oh, ah, ¡Qué rico! Ah, ¡Ay! Ah, 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 ¡John, excuse me! Ah, oye, mamita, cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? ¡En a mí, Robert, eh! What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Uh, who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. She <laughs> thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you going to marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant! My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tap gun and the hands of a farmer? Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, but turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes, yeah? the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, John. Today we will both have victory. Bien, vamos, hermanos. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's man at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet jump after what he did to you in Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. He must have felt good. Not particularly. You hardly worth a bullet. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met, the scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother out of hand all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. I knew I had heard the name of Escuela before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious surge took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a robot. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of a little group of fortune hunters, right now. When Dutch started falling apart, he did Javier harder than any of us. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fun. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die when he had a chance to save me. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron a surprise visit. 
It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the means of a great leader, Abraham. The revolution is gaining momentum. Sometimes I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion. I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the girl lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work, it will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico is yours, and you have all the power you deserve, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. I have to say, I'm not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home. Work my land and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too. But I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Enriquez. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Allow me some silence on the journey. I have the weight of a nation on my shoulders.
Presidio is just up ahead. Prepárate, mi hermano. This is our time. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Oh. Remember to jump, my friend.
I know you're here, old friend! How many of these fools are? Time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy, and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong, and the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you real. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die Whoa. to save your own skin, and now you expect me to care Whoa, about you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. You were always weak, Lord! <gasps> Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. The army See is coming. Get up there and man that cannon.
two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. Well, it is a pleasant surprise, I must say. He's not looking very healthy. We told you to keep them alive. You should be glad to have them at all. Just remember your obligations to the government, Mr. Marston. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that uh, Dutch Vandalin is in the area. Your wife sends her regards. <laughs>